In this video, we're going to take a look at the lseq system call in x86 assembly to better understand how we can move around files if we have one currently open that we are reading. And generally, the main idea of lseq is to be able to move to different areas in a file. Specifically, it's usually used with like fixed size records in a file. So you can see in this test.txt file, I've got a whole bunch of different uh, sets of data here, and each of them is nine characters in length. So if I wanted to get to say like the third record, what I could do is I could use lseq to move myself, uh, you know, past the first nine, past the second nine, over to the third nine to be able to read these immediately rather than having to read the first two lines and then read the third line. So it makes it just easier to read specific lines of a file. Now with x86, we have to be a little bit careful. When we work in C, there are some small differences between it and x86 comparative to how we use something like an lseq and how we understand the number of bytes that are read out of a file itself. The first real detail related to this is how big is this line of text? This line of text looks like it's nine characters, but we have to consider the fact that there's a new line character at the end of each of these, which would actually typically make this 10 characters in length, right? So generally, we would see this as 10 characters in length rather than just 9 characters in length. So in order to read using lseq, we have to understand that each line is about 10 characters in length, meaning that if I wanted to, say, read the third record, I want to go, you know, just past the 9, past 18. Well, actually, this would be 10, right? So it'd be 10 and 20 all the way up to line uh, 30. So that's, that's the idea of how we would want to read through that text file. So let's take an example of doing this. So I've got this uh, path name pointed towards the file that has the uh, fixed length records inside of them. And I have a buffer that has a size of 10, which is the size of one single record. So first things first, we're gonna open up a file. So I'm gonna move five into EAX. I'm gonna move into EBX, the path name. I'm gonna move into ECX, the value zero. And I'm gonna interrupt with ADH. Next, we're gonna set up the system call for lseq which the first thing that we're going to do is just move EBX into, or EAX into EBX. That's going to move the file descriptor into register EBX. Now, if I come over to my system call table, you'll see here that lseq is actually all the way down here at system call 19. It takes in three arguments. So the file descriptor is the first one, which is what I just moved into EBX. So I moved EAX into EBX. Remember, the result of the open system call is stored in EAX. So that's why I moved EAX into EBX because I'm getting the file descriptor result from open. Now what I need to provide in the second argument, which would be an ECX, is going to be a value that represents an integer or an offset in this case, an off T. And then the third argument is an unsigned integer. And to understand what these are, we have to go over to the lseq manual page to understand. So Offset is basically the number of bytes that we want to offset from the current position. So for example, if I wanted to get 20 bytes past the start, this value would be 20. And then the third argument, whence, is determining where we're offsetting from. There's three possible values for it, seek start, seek current, and seek end. Seek set is setting from the front of the file. So if I move from the front of the file a particular number of bytes, that would be using seek set. Seek cur moves from the current location uh, by the particular offset. So if we offset previously, it would move from wherever the current offset is over you know, the number of bytes that we specify. Seek end goes from the end of the file. So the offset could be negative, which moves to the left. So it moves from the end of the file to the front, or it could be positive. It moves from the front of the file to the end. So these are the main ways that these work. Now, if you were looking at this type of idea in C, you would have seen that uh, we have seek set, seek cur, and seek end, which are constants. These are actually defined in un, or unistd.h, and you can see that they're set here in this file here. They're just defined as constants. Seek set is zero, seek current is one, seek end is two. So those are the values that you use in x86 for the actual seeking of values. So when I come over here, so I got the, uh, the file descriptor in ebx, and then what I wanna do is in eax, I wanna move in the system call number, which is 19, as we saw from the table. ECX is going to be the number of bytes that we are looking to offset by. So in the example that I was giving, I said I maybe wanted to get the third record, which would be 20 bytes from the start. So I'd set this to 20 in that case. And then what I would do is I would move into EDX, the location where I want to offset from. So remember, there's current, there's uh, set, and there's end, right? 
So in this particular situation, I want to do it from set, which is the beginning of the file. So that'd be zero. So you can see your seek from the beginning of the file, which has a value of zero. So to do that, we simply just move a zero into EDX, and then I'm going to do my interrupt ADH. Now to test if the offset actually worked, what I could do is I can do a read, which is a system call of three, like we saw in the previous video. We can move into ECX, the buffer, and then we can move into EDX, the number of bytes, which is 10, and then do a system interrupt. And then we'll just set up the end of the application. So we move a one into AX for a system call to EBX, we put zero to indicate success. And then we interrupt here to end the program. Let's take a look at our result from this. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, assemble and compile. Whoops, I need to actually compile it together. Uh, there we go. And now we're gonna debug. So let's take a look at what we've got. We're gonna break at main. I'm going to run. I'm gonna step I. These first few system calls are simply just doing an open of the file, right? When this ends, we're expecting in register EAX, we're gonna have the file descriptor, which we see here is currently set to three. As I continue stepping through, I move that file descriptor into EBX. I move uh, the value into the uh, system call for LSeq, which is 19. I move in the number of bytes that I'm working with. In this case, it would be 10. And then I'm moving in the value for EDX, which would be zero in this case, right? That's indicating that we're seeking from the very start. Or sorry, the value here is 20, not 10. That's why it's 14, sorry. So it's 20 that we're seeking forward. When we do this interrupt, the result that we're expecting to get back would be the number of bytes that were seeked in the file, which would be 20 in this case. So info register ECI or EAX, so it gives us 14 hex or 20 in decimal. So that does indicate that we have seeked through the file successfully. Last sort of step here is to try reading the file and seeing what happens. If I take a look at the results, to do that I would have to read the 0x804 C048 location in memory, this location right here. And you can see that I get 0033050. If we come back to the original file, that was the third record. So do you see how the LSeq lets us move to a particular location of a file before actually reading? This allows us to be able to read files from specific locations, allowing us to read through files faster. This is a very helpful tip for reading through files and a very helpful system call for this purpose. With this, you now know how to seek through files and be able to read at specific locations. So thanks both for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.